Hi everyone, I'm Miriam Burr and I'm going to talk to you about inspiration in Rick Alden. I read an article in Entrepreneur Magazine's online version that featured Rick Alden and he was an award winner for their Entrepreneur of 2009 award. One of the things that caught my eye was how he came up with the idea uh, for his company. It's called Skull Candy and what they manufacture and sell are headphones and earbuds for electronic equipment. Now back in 2001 Rick went on a snowboarding trip and he got inspiration while he was on a chairlift. Obviously during that time that's when the iPod had just launched and he saw that these action-oriented type of crowd was having kind of problems with the headphones that they were using and he considered it and decided that this would be a game changer and it has been. Um, they're really cool looking type of gadget or accessory. Um, they come in very bright colors. They take on this um, skate skater boy type of pattern. So he was looking at the specific type of target market. And what we noticed and what the revenue shows it was a game changer and it has done very, very well. Back in 2008, their revenue had topped $68 million. In 2009, it was about $120 million. So, yes, it was a game changer and it has done very well. Now, because of the supposedly economic downturn, things um, were not doing so well as far as the orders for the accessory. And so what he decided to do was just launch it in a different market or um, offer it to a different target market. And their new customers are AT&T and T-Mobile. So he looked at what was happening in the industry. He looked at what was happening in the, uh, in the economy. And he just changed things around. He used his imagination, he used his thought process, and he used what was happening around him to kind of help him shift um, his way of thinking to serve other people because ultimately that's, that was an intention to serve the people that were having problems with the headphones that were coming with the iPods. Now, he is launching a new line, and it's supposed to be a, you know, advanced head, headphones, and it's going to be called, I believe it's 2XL. Um, and the reason I want to talk to you about Rick Alden, not just because he got this inspiration while he was on a chairlift, but and because Skull Candy is a product that is being used by a lot of people, but because of the mere fact that imagination is something that you can develop and you can, and if you use it to your advantage, you can reap rewards based on you know, that mere action, you know, doing it. Napoleon Hill says that men's limitation within reason lies in his development and his use of imagination. And we notice that when people you know, start wondering what is it that I'm supposed, um, how is it that I'm supposed to be marketing, um, what are some avenues that I can think and um, that I can market my product, my service. And if you use or develop your imagination and you looked around and look at where you're at, what types of things you are attracted to. Uh, because obviously this guy Rick Alden was into sports, he's a snowboarder, he was on a trip and he was watching his peers having issues with this product and as a result you know he was one of them and he noticed that he had a solution 
to the problem. And you as a entrepreneur, as a home or small business owner, you have probably the same types of issues that the people that you're trying to serve are having. And you have an advantage if you tap to if you tap that, if you tap that information. And everything is not here. You have everything that you need to create the business that you desire. So inspiration is it's really important. Not just inspiration. I say imagination. You know, use of your imagination to create the service, top service that you really want for your customers. I'm Miriam Burr and I will see you on my next video.